Sniffy, come on, your breakfast is ready. You all right this morning, Mum? Hey, yeah, I'm fine, why? So are you and Matt are still friends? Of course we are. So we're coming round later? Don't think so. Why not? Well, because he's probably very busy. Doing what? I don't know. Why are the questions about Martin all of a sudden? Because I heard you rowing last night. Oh, we weren't rowing. But I heard you, you were yelling at each other. Rosie, Martin and I just had a lot to talk about, that's all. It wasn't a row exactly. So why were you shouting at each other? Because sometimes when adults have something very important to say, well, they sometimes misunderstand each other and that can sound like an argument. So that's what happened with you and Martin? Look, Rosie, everything's all right. What are you boys going to get up to while I'm at work today? Well, we thought we'd sit around for a bit, do a bit of dribbling, and then we'd have a couple of pints of milk, didn't we, eh? Mm, the usual, then. Hiya. Hiya. Good morning. So this is it, is it? Role reversal in action. Yep, this is it. I'm wearing the trousers. <laughs> well, I, for one, think it's wonderful you found your own way of doing things. Well, it's all right. We've just about got used to it, haven't we? Yeah, just about. Still feels a bit weird, you know, going to work, though, and leaving them both. Well, it's bound to, isn't it? But when all's said and done, aren't you lucky to have the choice? How's lover boy this morning, then? No more little tantrums? Yeah, all right, Steve, you've made your point. I don't get defensive. I was just worried about you. All right, and you're not. Well, I'd be a little bit concerned if I was a driver down, but, um... <laughs> no, look, it's all right. I've been thinking about what you and Dev said, you know, about going away and that. And we're right, aren't we? Well, it's just... <laughs> it's not that easy, is it? You know, I've been going over things in my head and it's just... Well, don't! Listen, we've had a close call, all right. So no regrets, no looking back, and above all, no more married women. I don't think I could take it. Keeping you up, is she? What? Sandra, you look shattered. Oh, yeah, yeah, she likes to make a nice of it, you know. Good, but it's nice to see you smiling again. Yeah, yeah. There you go. Oh, that's, uh... So things didn't go too well, then? Oh, I can't even talk to her without arguing. Oh, don't worry, Maxine gets like that sometimes. Dead moody. All women do. Are you saying it's her hormones? I don't know. Boris reckons it's something to do with Moon. Oh, well, if you hear me howling, you know what it is. <laughs> You're not see. Not all that bad. Women, you just got to stick with them, mate. Yeah, you're probably right. <laughs> oh, is there any plus for me? Not unless you want to pay the water rates. Oh, there's one for you, though, Sarah. Ooh! Cool. I wonder what it is. Oh, it's from the crash. Betty's a bit young for school reports, isn't she? Here, it's not fair. I'll never get any pause. No, yeah, make the most of it. There's only three things you get in envelopes. That's bills, bills and more bills. Oh, no! You can't do this. What is it? The clothes in the crash? Hey, you'll have to give up school to look after Beth. Tell you what, I'll give up school and help you. Shut up, David. I don't believe this. We rely on yeah. that place. What am I going to do? I'm in the middle of my GCSEs. Well, surely there's another crash round here. Can't be the only one. Yeah, it's the best one. And the closest. Mm. Oh, well, I can't mm. afford to send her to a private nursery. It'll cost me a bob. Yeah, but surely the council have to provide another subsidised place for Bethany. <sighs> but where? It could be miles away. Oh, come on, Sarah. No point in panicking. What time is it? Mm, just coming up to half past nine. Is that all? I feel like I've been here years. I'm that bored. Listen, love, when you've sown as many gusses as I have, then you can complain. Yeah, but it's so boring, isn't it? Doing this same job hour after hour. Do you know, I watched a film like this once. Like what? Like this. It was black and white, set in one of them old-fashioned mills, and there was this kid, fell in this big machine, cut his arm off. That's terrible. <laughs> Is it? I wouldn't mind it happening to someone in here. <laughs> At least it'd be a bit of excitement. So you want a bit of excitement, do you? Yeah, why? What have you got in mind? Well, how about this? Monday, we have open day. Hopefully attract a few new buyers. An open day? What's that when it's at all? There's a clue in the title, Janice. We open the factory doors, the punters come in, they see my highly skilled staff, my quality merchandise... In this place? No, -uh. I think you got that wrong. Very funny. Well, I'm warning you. From now on, you're on your best behaviour. No more shoddy workmanship. Do I make myself clear? Yes, Mr. Baldwin. Thank you. Soldier, boring Baldwin. 
The Return of the Living Dead. <laughs> Vic. Vic! What? Are you doing this hospital run? Oh, forget it. Vernon, can you do a pick-up at Weatherfield General? It's for a Mrs Kershaw. Oh, and she's had her bunions done, so don't go over any speed bumps. Biscuits. I need them. Look, I know you only pay me to answer the phone, but can you please have a word with your partner? What's up with him? Well, look at him. He's like a wet weekend in Skeggy. I've hardly had a word out of him all morning, and as for his driving... Oh, it's very hard. Good. Oi! What's wrong with you? I thought you were getting over her. Yeah, I am. Yeah, well, I can see why it would upset you. Upset us? Uh, Kelly, I don't think you understand how much this affects us. Sarah's in her most important year at school and I can't just give up work. Yeah, well, it might not come to that. How do you mean? Well, I don't know the details, but there's so many demands made on the budget, the council are always looking at ways to reduce expenditure. So what are you saying? That they will close the crash? Well, what I'm saying is that uh, the council have a legal duty to provide you with childcare. Yeah, but where? Bethany could end up in the middle of nowhere. Well, look, i tell you what, leave it with me. I'll make a few phone calls and see if there's anything in this. Would you? That'd be great. Yeah, no problem. We really appreciate this. That's all right. Um, as long as you do something for me in return. Of course. <laughs> right, it's, it's Ben, you see. He's got these kind of dry patches oh, on his head. Oh, and I'm not overly sure what they are. Oh, come here. Let's have a look. You can love. I'm not saying never. Just asking Martin to wait until I'm sure. Till we're both sure. I know. And I'm sure Martin understands that as well. well he's not showing any signs of it. Honestly, Weeta is behaving like a spoilt child. How do you mean? Well, as soon as I told him that, I didn't think it was a good idea that he moved in with me. He went all aggressive on me. I haven't seen him since. Mm. Probably still hurt. But then he should come and talk to me. Mm -hmm. Because at least if we talked about it, we could work something out. Mm. He knows he's made mistakes in the past with his relationships. I mean, we both have. Yes, but no man likes to be reminded of the past mistakes, do they? No, I suppose not. Look, I'm not going to tell you how to run your relationship, but don't you think you should be looking forward, not back? So what are you saying? That I should ask Martin to move in with me? Well... I don't think it's me you should be talking to about this. What do you think you're doing? Well, it's thirsty work. It's clancy pots, you know. Oh, is that right? Oh, yes, yes. But, but I know that you would not deny a man his drink because you are not that kind of boss. And, um, what kind of boss is that, then? Firm, but fair. Well, you're all the same, you red-headed female authority figures, aren't you? Like, like you, 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 you bored you see her. You Maggie Thatcher. She's blonde, Jack. Well, better go and collect some more glasses, then, aren't I? Can I get you another? Uh, no, thanks, love. I best get back to work. Mind you, I'm not too keen what we've been moping about all over the place. The poor lad was in love. He's bound to be a bit caught up. Caught up? He's in pieces. I wish it wasn't over a married woman. I know what you mean. I mean, what is it with you men? Does it make it more of a challenge if they're involved with somebody else? Don't go pointing the finger at me. At least my Sandra's single. Yeah. Would it be any different if she wasn't? Yeah. Uh, an open day. What kind of stupid idea is that? Yeah. I mean, I'm just bored being regular. He's going to get some new buyers with all that old tat we churn out. <laughs> I don't know. I don't think our underwear is so bad. You are. Badly stitched belly warmers. <laughs> Not for me, thanks, love. Yeah, he wants to broaden out a bit, doesn't he? You know, go for the youth market. I've got a few ideas myself, actually. Oh, yeah. Underwear is the new outerwear. They're all at it. Nicole Kidman, Madonna. You seem to know a lot about all these sorts of things, Faze. You'd be surprised, Janice. I am not just a pretty face. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what you're getting so worried about for anyway. Because I don't know if she's all right. All I've got is some stupid text message saying she's at a health spa. What's wrong with that? Face pack, celery sticks. Yeah, but what if she isn't? You know, what if she isn't at the health spa? What if he's put her in hospital? Oh, you're just being dramatic now, Vic. You want to get a grip, mate, quick. Cheers, Eve. Cheers, mate. You all right, Les? All right. Is he all right? I'm heard. Heard what? 
love blossoms in the Battersby Garden. Oh, why? Who's this then, Leslie? Uh, no one you know. Well, she's an internet rider, what, Leslie? How's that work then, lads? You get a friend when you buy a computer. <laughs> Actually, if you must know, Sandra's a very beautiful lady and we're very committed to each other. I think he's been watching too much Oprah Winfrey. <laughs> you can scoff all you like, lads, but believe me, I've never felt like this about anyone in my life. I tell you what, why don't we go out for a drink tonight? Me, you and Sandra. Uh, I I'm not sure. Why not? We could meet in here, about six. Yeah, all right. Good, because if it is serious between you two, it's about time I got to know. Yeah, right. <laughs> What are you doing? It's your shift on the switch. Yeah, well, I'm sorry, mate, but I can't do it. Well, where are you going? Oh, don't tell me. Well, go on, then. Go and get your head kicked in, see if I can. No one is going to get their head kicked in. No? Well, what do you think her husband's going to do when he catches you, then? He's not going to catch me, Steve. You don't know that. And what about Hazel? Oh, will you tell me? Well, if you're so worried about her, it's going to make things worse. Steve, I don't expect you to understand this, but I need to do it. And you really think she's worth it, then, do you? Yeah, I do. So, what do you reckon? Mmm, that's nice. So, uh, where'd you nick it from? <laughs> I didn't nick it. I made it. You're joking. This sounds fantastic. Yeah, I told you I had some good ideas. This is one of my favourite designs in my portfolio. Mm, nice. What else have you designed? Uh, bits and bobs. I'm always making things me. Who'd have guessed it, eh? Hi, Fizz. <laughs> well, Mr B, what do you reckon? Hidden talents on the shop floor. What the hell do you call that? It's a bustier. They're all the rage. I just made it myself. What, here? Er, uh, yeah. On my machines? Yeah, but I wasn't slacking off. I thought you might be interested in my designs, you know, with this open day and everything. Take it from me. The only place you'd sell that be a joke shop. Oh, and one last word of advice, and this is your last warning. If I catch you working on your own things, on my machine in my time, you'll be down that job centre before you can say pret a -pour Do you understand? Look, Vic, I don't know what you were worried about, and it's... It's nice that you care, but... You can see for yourself I'm perfectly fine. I... So please, I think you better go now. I can't. You have to. If John sees you... I can't just forget about us. I suppose you better come in for a minute. So, have you heard anything? Yeah, what have you said? <laughs> well, I've made a few phone calls. Told you it was useful to have someone on the inside. But unfortunately, it's not looking too promising. Well, what do you mean? They're actually going to close the creche? The council will have to make massive cutbacks to the entire social services budget. It's not just the creche, it's libraries, day centres, anywhere that they think they can make a saving. And where does that leave us? Well, obviously, the council will try and find Bethany a suitable childcare place, but not at that particular facility. Mum, why is he talking like that? Because he's on their side. He's a councillor. He doesn't care what happens to us. Sarah. Yeah, well, it's true, isn't it? It's all right for you. You can look after your own baby. I'm not sure that's entirely fair. Well, I think Sarah's got a point. I mean, we're not all lucky enough to be in your position. Yeah, well, I'm sorry. Yeah, I'm sure you are, Curly, but unfortunately, sympathy doesn't help. Well, if there's anything else I can do, uh... I'll see myself then. I just wanted to clear the air, Martin. Don't want there to be a problem between us. Yeah, but, well, there is a problem. If we both want different things. But do we? I mean, maybe we want the same things, but just different speeds. Oh. Well, what are you saying? That you do want me to move in? Well, eventually. In two months, two years. I know this is not very fair on you, but I can't put a time on this, Martin. You understand that, don't you? I can't afford to get this one wrong. For me and for the girls, I need to be sure. OK? Yeah. OK. What's 
up. Oh, no. I thought we were meant to be meeting in the pub. Uh, we were. It's just that Sandra can't make it. Oh, right. Uh, well, never mind. We can do it another night. What about tomorrow? Uh, no. Uh, I think she can't make tomorrow either. Is she all right? Yeah, yeah, she's fine. It's just, well, me and her have decided to cool it, you know. Oh, Les, I'm sorry. It's all right. I thought things were going really well between you. They were. Things were brilliant. So what happened? She, uh, she decided to give her marriage another try, that's all. She, uh, she didn't want to because we had something really special together. But it was her husband. He was begging her to come back. All right. So I insisted she give it another go. You see, the way I was thinking is, if there was any chance of them saving their marriage, it was my duty to stand aside. Les, that's really thoughtful of you. Yeah, I know. You see, the thing is, I understand the pain of a broken marriage, Toya. And as much as I like Sandra, I couldn't stand in the way and let that happen to another man. Oh, I'm amazed. I can't believe you'd do that. Sometimes. You've just got to do the right things, haven't you? What did you expect to find? Two black eyes? I don't know. Part of you would have liked that, wouldn't you? <laughs> of course I wouldn't. I wouldn't want to see you hurt. No, but it would have given you the chance to play the hero, save me from a big bad marriage. <laughs> oh, look, you can laugh at me all you like, but I was worried about you, OK? Sorry. I've seen your husband and I know what he's capable of. <laughs> and what is that? Oh, uh, do you think he beats me, locks me in the airing cupboard? What is it with you, Vic? Have you been watching too many nasty videos? <laughs> I'm going. I should never have come here in the first place. No, 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 don't go. Please, please. I don't want to fight. I, I just don't understand where all this stuff's coming from. And I don't understand why you're here. Just leave him. I never said I'd leave him. Look, despite what you think, John's a good man. He loves me. Yeah. Yes! Look, I'm not saying he's the perfect husband. Or that we have the best sex or the most exciting marriage. But he's all right. He's just not that keen on me having affairs, that's all. But you don't love him. You see, and that's why I don't get it. You know, why are you here? Is it because you're scared? Is it for the money or what? Because it ain't love. We had a nice time. We had an exciting time, but we always knew it was going to finish. It just happened sooner than we thought, that's all. It was more than that. Not for me, Vic. I'm sorry if I misled you. It's over. But what else did they expect you to do? The crush has got nothing to do with you. I know. But you didn't see the way Sarah looked at me today. Almost as if she was accusing me. Maybe she's right. How do you mean? Well, you didn't hear me. I mean, there I was spouting the line like the rest of them. You know, about cutbacks and, and, and budgets. Oh. I didn't realise until I stopped. Realise what? Realise that these figures on a page, that they're, they're people. These council decisions affect people's lives. Yeah, I understand that, Norman, but you can't take this on board yourself. This isn't your fault. Well, maybe it is indirectly. I mean, I'm a councillor. Today, I saw people look at me the way I've seen countless people look at Audrey Roberts over the years. I don't want to be like her. I want to make a difference. Yeah, and you will. Don't worry. So, um, what else did you do today, then, apart from upsetting the neighbours? Well, I did look after Ben. Six empty bottles, six full nappies. <laughs> Sounds like a pretty full day to me. So why don't you leave saving the planet to someone else? Yeah. <laughs> hey. Joke shop. 
Can you believe he said that? My design's a top quality. Oh, come on, love. You're not still going on about Baldwin, are you? Yeah, well, what does he know about fashion? Uh, hey, we're not seeing his golfing jumpers. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Mum, can I just have a word? Yeah, why? What's up? Yeah, well, I'll show him. Yeah, of course you will, love. No, I will. You lot have seen how good I am. Now, I've just got to go and prove it to Baldwin. It's sort of sad, that, innit? What is? Well, in another life, she'd uh, been at some fashion college. Still, it doesn't hurt to have dreams, does it? <sighs> Only if you can afford them, Ailey. Of course, I'm upset for Les, but in a way, I'm relieved. How do you mean? Well, I thought I were going mad. I knew it were more than just a friend without oh. Sandra. Yeah, that must have been the husband. Filling you in, is she? Les, I'm sorry. I know how much you liked her. No, you're all right. I sort of admire her, any road. Admire? Oh, yeah. The thing with Sandra, she was a woman with honour. She wasn't into two time with her husband. Look, I know you probably don't want to hear this, but if you ever want to call, get in touch. Don't... Please, Vic. <laughs>